Okay, in this video, we're going to move on from our bedside cabinet. We're going to model a wardrobe. It's um, nearly the same object. It's just a bit larger and it's got swinging doors. So again, I'm going to start off with a cube. I'm going to drag it along my grid to get the width and the length. And then I'm going to drag it up to get the height. And that seems fairly big there for a wardrobe. So I'm going to use that. Right. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is again edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. And I'm going to start making an area for our drawers in the wardrobe. So, one there, that side. seems okay so now we've got these two areas so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click both of them I'm going to go edit mesh extrude and I'm going to move them out I'm not going to move them out the same distance I'm going to try and give it a more natural look okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to select these two again edit mesh extrude <coughs> And we're going to size these in for the handles. Extrude again, move them out. And we're going to grab the top and bottom areas of both these handles and extrude again. Once we've scaled that in like that, we're going to extrude. We're going to grab the blue arrow, move it in. So now we've got handles. Okay, next thing, I'm going to grab this area, I'm going to extrude it. Exactly the same as the bedside table. Extrude again, move it down. Grab that back one, extrude it, move it in. And again, we're going to repeat that for the second drawer. So extrude and scale. Just move it down. Grab and extrude these. Okay, for the top part here, I just need to add an edge loop. Edge loop here. We're going to grab these three areas, we're going to extrude, and we're going to move them in. <coughs> so the next thing we want to do is add. The drawer or the doors for this, and we're going to do that by making a new cube. So I'm just going to get my width and length here and drag it up. I'm going to size it up. So I'm going to press tab space, hold the mouse over the front view and tab space again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up into position. And then what I have to do is I'm going to have to line it up. So I'm going to use my vertex mode. So I'm going to left click, go into vertex mode. Grab these over, get it halfway there. Grab the bottom ones, pull them up. Now if I go here, that should be a perfect fit. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the front face <coughs> and I am going to extrude it, scale it down. Just 
Move it over there slightly. Going to extrude again. Grab the top and bottom one. Extrude. And extrude again and move it in with the blue arrow. So we've got now a handle for our door. Okay, so I want to press E and rotate this door, but you can see that the pivot point's right in the center of the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view. And I'm going to hold down D and I'm going to drag this pivot right across to its edge. Okay, where the hinge of the door would be. You can see now the pivot is over there. When I press E now, I can actually open and close the door from that area. Next thing we want to do, I'm just going to close that door for a second. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to rotate it around. That is our finished wardrobe.